Hi everyone, uh, welcome to BISP trainings. My name is Faiza Alam, um, Night Suite Functional Consultant at BISP Solutions. In today's session, we will uh, get to know about the uh, vendor bill in the NetSuite application. I mean, how can we enter a vendor bill in the NetSuite application? First, uh, we will know about what is a vendor bill. So, a vendor bill is an invoice that is received from a vendor for the goods and services that is purchased uh, from uh, a vendor. It is considered as an expense for the company. Uh, the vendor bill transaction records payables as uh, uh, whenever it arrives uh, from the vendor and it also allows uh, the payment of it when it becomes due. Um, it helps in giving the accurate picture of the payables at any point of time during the entire billing cycle. Uh, if we talk about the ways uh, from which we can enter a vendor bill, so there are two ways around like we can send a request via purchase order which is existing like uh, purchase order is you know uh, can be created for expenses and items uh, but uh, uh, we can say that uh, a vendor bill can be uh, entered uh, from a, from an existing purchase order first and then we can convert the received items into the vendor bill and uh, if not uh, if we do not want that uh, so we can directly create a vendor bill uh, which is a standalone vendor bill or we can say an individual vendor bill that we will know in our app so this is my moving on to the netsuite application this is my netsuite dashboard so uh, we have discussed uh, just now that uh, the vendor bill a vendor bill can be entered in two ways so if we take the first way like uh, if we uh, want to associate associate any vendor bill with the purchase order so uh, for that we have to go into the purchase order under the transaction purchases and enter purchase order and list as we have already opened a purchase order list so here a purchase order list is uh, uh, appeared before us so for uh, entering a bill we have to take that purchase order which is pending for billing like i am taking here this alo uh, system limit all right now under the process tab we here we can see that we are having this bill option so we will click on this uh, tab bill for entering a bill for this particular purchase order The first thing that uh, we, we have to do over here is to change the form from uh, custom to standard. I have to select the standard vendor bill. So everything is given uh, in this uh, bill tab. You can see the vendor name is here. Amount, the available vendor credit limit is here exchange rate currency due date if we want to change this due date we can change it from here i'm not changing it this payment hold is like if we check this box so uh, we would not be able to see the payment page so i'm not checking it right now if we go down we can see that uh, this uh, particular purchase order is made for the item so we do not have to do anything and uh, just uh, take a cross check of it you can see the custom information is here Everything is here. Now we can enter a bill by clicking on save tab. So here we can see that the transaction has been successfully saved. Uh, we have entered a bill. This is the first way in which we have uh, entered a bill uh, with, a, with an existing purchase order. So the other way we are having is the we, when we are about to create an individual uh, vendor bill. And this is mainly done for like uh, if uh, we incur any expenses in the business and we want uh, those expenses to be billed. So for that, uh, if there is no question of purchase order. So for that, we can uh, create an individual bill. For that, we will be going under the transaction over to payables and over to uh, enter bill. I have opened this bill. So by clicking on that, it will take us to this page over here. 
the first thing uh, again we have to change the form uh, from custom to standard as i am doing it um we have to as this is an individual bill there is no uh, vendor that is associated uh, with it as we have done in the purchase order so first thing uh, the second thing sorry uh, that we have to do is to select the vendor from the list like uh, i am taking here uh, this bisp professionals so we can see that the vendor uh, is taking up over here the account that is affected by this bill is here amount when we uh, enter the amount uh, at the line level it will be reflected will be coming under here currency is already here according to the subsidiary that we have selected the subsidiary that that is associated with this vendor exchange rate is here if any discount amount is required to be given payment hold we have I, we have discussed it earlier uh, that today's date is here uh, if we want to change the due date like i can change the date over here like i am taking here 26th of march and uh, we have to provide a memo as uh, it is an individual uh, vendor bill for clarity uh, we can uh, provide the memo over here approval status uh, uh, in the approval status we are having three options so for that we will be clicking on approved if we do not uh, if we click on the pending approval so that will be uh, transferred to the next approver who will be responsible for approving this bill so uh, if we go down here as i have told you that uh, we have to uh, enter this bill for any expense so i will click on uh, expense over here the first thing we have to select is to select the category uh, like i am taking here the billable the account is already been taken up that is associated with this category amount uh, we have to mention the amount over here tax code tax rate is already here you can see that the gross amount is already been taken up by the amount and tax code if any memo department class location is required to be provided we can provide it over here we will click on add uh next uh, we have to provide some uh, mandatory details over here like lnt quality and product quality testing for cf we have to mention it and you can see in the amount column as we have not mentioned any amount over here as soon as i have uh, selected the amount in the line level it is visible in the amount column so after making all these things we will click on save and now you can see that the that our bill has been uh, successfully entered uh it is open for all either we want to credit it or make payment of it so we can do it so this is how we can we can uh, go down we will see that the uh, bill for uh, which expense like uh, grant expense so for the amount of 3000 has been entered over here and if we want to make payment of it we can do it so this is all from my side in case of any questions queries and consultations feel free to write to us at www.bispsolutions.com thank you